I'm still getting over the veteran DJ of it. <laughs> <laughs> I did start when I was 10. Um, yes, I, did, I liked it to a certain extent. I, I mean, the single, the reason why I'm playing it as a soul record is it's very, very soulful. Uh, the album's got this bottom over beat uh, going through it the whole way. I find it a bit monotonous, to be honest with you. And it strikes me, although she's got a very nice voice, I can take it probably for one, um, one single. And there are one or two other tracks on it that were very nice. But I think it would be probably become a little bit background for me. Uh, there isn't enough light and shade in the album. Uh, but apart from that, I, I rather like it. It's, it's a nice sound. And uh, I mean, there's room for it, but I don't know, not, not quite for me. But I love the single. The single's great. George? Um, I must admit, there's not that much to add to that. I think that the single is the best thing on the album, definitely. Uh, I love her voice as, I mean, it's very, it's great to get you, I mean, it's so melancholy, and it's just so vulnerable that it's a, it's a beautiful voice in that way. But um, for a whole album, it does drag on a bit, you know, and it actually starts to take away from the songs, because individually, you can appreciate them a lot better, and they are very good songs, or well, four or five on the album anyway. But as an album, it starts to, you know, to wash a bit. Yeah. But she's become something of a cult figure, though, hasn't she? Yeah, with the Marine Girls and with the Style Counts and all that. But yeah. Uh, She's becoming a little bit more accessible. I think probably, I don't know, it just seems to be a coincidence they've just signed to uh, WEA. But um, it does seem a lot more accessible than before. I think it's nowhere near as good as Plain Sailing, which is my fav favourite track of hers. But uh, still a good album. Morrissey, I know you know them. Do you uh, approve of their album? Um, to a large degree, I do, because at least half of the album I really like. And I feel that if I can like at least half an album, well, for me personally, that, that's really quite uh, revolutionary. Which I, bits do you like and why? Well, I did think that Another Bridge is really quite spectacular. I'm still mystified about the single and the success of the single, which uh, I think... You it's don't it's that good? No, I don't. Why not? I think it's perhaps the most least attractive track. I don't know. I can't explain it. It just didn't really strike me that much. So, but obviously I really like them. I think melodically it's the... I think it's the most... Um, I don't know, I think it's most interesting melodically on there. I thought it was wonderful, the, the single. I don't like albums, though. I mean, I get, Ever? I, no, no I, d I generally don't like albums very much. I want to go on from uh, one particular sound to another, and I find on an album it's very lucky if you can find three or four good tracks anyway, but I don't actually like listening to albums very much. What about this, this as a sound, though? It's been described as part of a new soft drop. It's jazz rock. It's a over, isn't it? It's, it's very, very old-fashioned in a way, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I used to play this. I used to play this about uh, 25 years ago, in uh, the Bournemouth Pavilion Orchestra. I was in an orchestra then. We were sort of bashing out the boss. And Playing to what sort of audience? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> uh, sort of mayors, I mean, civic receptions, people, or? civic receptions at the time. Yeah, yeah, things like that. But uh, yeah, people were bossing over and around. But uh, it's not it. It's a it's an old sound come back again, really. Morris, you doing it's old fashioned as such? Well, it is, but I mean, nearly. Most music is. I can't think in those terms. I just think, is it, is it good or is it bad? I don't really mind if, it's, if it could be described as old-fashioned, because if it's appealing, I, I'll accept that, you know, whether it's just, you know, caveman beating on a drum or whatever. I like it, ultimately. It seems to be very anti-fashion music. I mean, they don't care about their image too much. Yeah, but that almost becomes an image, and it al almost becomes the ac a absolute heart of fashion. So, um, and I think it will. I think that's what makes them so fashionable in, in, in press at the moment, is the fact that uh, they're very anti-image. And um, in a way, there is, they do care about their image and their fashion because the, the music shows that. It is all of a certain type, awesome. and it does have that, has, has that jazz influence. But um, it, is, it justifies it, I think, because the atmosphere is so good. Thank you. And Everything But The Girls Eden will be available next week. Also on release next week, there's a music film that earned a remarkable $25 million in its first week in America. It's called Breakdance. It tells the story of a white dancer who joins a black breakdancing team who perform in Venice Beach, Los Angeles, and appear to me to live in a ghetto furnished by Habitat. The breakdance